Hi, I'm happy to be here with you in Germany. My name is Ivan Leon. I'm Bitcor, Mass Adoption Ambassador for Latin America, and my Iwer Ambassador Program in for Venezuela. We are working so hard here because we think and we believe the cryptocurrencies is the perfect solution for the problems we have all around the world, especially in Latin America. Bitcoin has a, has been a very huge support for our educational program, and we think we can do more. We can get more people in. We can get more platforms and projects with cryptocurrencies for Latin America. Um, Airware is the first one who sponsors us, and we are happy and proud to be with them. I think both projects, Bitcoin and Airware, are very serious about the mass adoption programs and educational programs. Latin America is in a very unique uh, situation because we have been living here in a very unique economic situation too. Each country has its problems, has uh, different options, but in general Latin America has a very serious problem with uh, crypto, um, money, fiat money, with the normal money. Politicians, banks, financial groups, corruption, it uh, are some of the problems we are dealing with here in, in Latin America. And we think we, the cryptocurrency and blockchain solutions can bring us a really, a really real solution for that. We need it. It is not a, a maybe we should use it. I think it's a we must use it. And we need the help of everybody in the world to make platforms to see us as a solution, as a big and huge market. I'm from Venezuela. It's a very beautiful country full of richness and resources and beautiful people, very talented people. And we're living in a very uh, weird, so weird situation because of the one of the richest countries in the world is living uh, monetary uh, struggling. This, has, uh, this is making us to leave the country. So many people is leaving to other countries because they want to search for more um, and different ways to earn money. But I think we should try to do it from our country, doing different things, different opportunities that yeah, cryptocurrencies are, are, are bringing us. And that's what we teach us in, in our educational program. Bitcoin and Airware are serious and they know the next stage in cryptocurrencies is about mass adoption. If we don't use money, we, if we don't use uh, crypto cryptocurrencies, uh, they, are, they have no real value. But in countries like Germany, Europe or even in, in the States, in the United States, the cryptocurrencies is really uh, another option for people because the way they live, the way you live, make us make, make you to have different choices to live with money. But in Latin America, the money situation is leaving us without another option. Or we have to manage ourselves to live with the fiat money and its troubles, or we have to go to another and real solution like cryptocurrencies. Why we need it? Why we need cryptocurrencies? Well, we have so many obstacles in our lives. For example, the inflation and hyperinflation in some countries. In Venezuela, for example, a um, carton of 30x uh, two months ago was about two, 250,000 bees, bolivares. Now it's in about one, 120 million bolivares. This is only the, the change in prices for our daily things we need to eat and we need to buy. Um, Thorsten was asking me some days ago if we live in a worse situation because of the hyperinflation, the people playing in the country, and I told him, no, we live as normal. You can come to Venezuela and you will see normal people living normal life in an 
non-normal country and we need to to bring your attention to this country because we have the legal basis the economic basis to make cryptocurrencies as a real solution for our problems and let me tell you something if cryptocurrencies can bring us a real solution for a problem can give a solution to any problem in the planet really another obstacle we have is uh, about the remittance uh, so many people flew uh, and are going out the country and they want to bring money to support their families here in Venezuela the usual ways to do it is uh, via banks transfers and they charge a lot and they need a lot of money and if someone outside my country can save let's say hundred bucks hundred dollars and they want to give them to their family here in Venezuela the bank services charges maybe 30 percent of it that's a lot for someone who is willing to give some money to the people they love but cryptocurrencies is a real solution for that too because the the transfer is has no boundaries has no borders and the fee commissions are so low that maybe that hundred bucks in cryptocurrencies come here to a country that has 99 dollars so uh, we have to we have been teaching people about this we have been uh, show them there's another way to get them the, we're trying to to bring people in the cryptocurrency world and i think we have a really 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 good with really really good um, place to be the best in the world for that because venezuela is first one of the countries with uh, where the people use re, uh, a lot of electronic trans the transactions the people use a lot of internet the people use a lot of, of social media and these are the, the ways the cryptocurrencies works for example Airware uh, has a platform a really interesting blockchain platform to use uh, cryptocurrencies if you use Airware platform you can send and receive cryptocurrencies using uh, SMS, uh, emails, custom links, social media users name and even you, if you can send it from another user in the platform with a really really low fees so this platform yeah it's gonna be patented by Airware is one of the big solutions for, for our countries and our region there, but we will we will be back to the main problem. How can people in the in any country or any region in the planet can get in the cryptocurrency world? Well, the only answer to that is education, information is the only way we can bring more people in. I think the from our perspective in Venezuela from our perspective as Latin America we we advise you or we want to we want you to know that if we don't teach people to use cryptocurrency if we don't teach people how to uh, get, get cryptocurrencies in their lives in their daily base use by, uh, lives if we don't give them the tools to make it the mass adoption will never happen and uh, maybe programs like an upper educational programs in Venezuela for example they only get get the people that already know how, how to use and work and earn money with the cryptocurrencies but we have an, a really really different uh, approach for our educational program Bitcoin and everywhere has understood that we must go to the people who, who, who doesn't know or the people that uh, doesn't use cryptocurrencies. In Venezuela, the government has um, 
promote uh, the Petro, Petro coin. And it's a really good and unique solution for, for us. I, I hope it works. Besides you know, the political side of it, the Petro would be a really good solution for us. And as an interesting issue here is Petro has opened the legal doors to use any cryptocurrency in Venezuela. Like, unlike other countries in the world where there's a great, great area or in the legal basis, or in other countries where it's banned to use con uh, with, uh, cryptocurrencies uh, as, as Bolivia or Ecuador, we have the legal basis to use cryptocurrencies as a normal currency. So, as another point to to bring educational and mass adoption programs to Venezuela. We need more help. We need more help, we need more people, we need more money to to make this educational program more uh, outreach, uh, outreach more people here in Venezuela. And then the next step would be Latin America. We need you to understand that we have the best moment, the best, the best place, and the best tools to make the mass adoption a really huge success here in Latin America. Um, Bitcoin and Airware are open to to bring more sponsors to our, to our educational program. We need more help. We need to understand that together we can make more. We need to make more. I have seen some cases where the selfishness and fanatism about some cryptocurrencies make them to work alone, isolate and even attack another cryptocurrencies. I don't see the point of that. We, uh, there's enough, enough people in the world to make every, every single cryptocurrency work for us, work for every, everybody. And that's one of the another point, Bitcoin and Airware with the ambassador program for mass adoption and educational program to to offer them, to offer it to to all platforms to, to want to work with us. Why we need this? Well, uh, this educational program has started on October 14th last month, and we have been talking to s over 600 people. 99% are non-crypto users. Now they know how to use it. Now you can see some of them working uh, to, with cryptocurrencies and want to learn more. They want to sell the talent. And we teach them how to, to earn money with our own talent. And that's very important because the people have an idea about cryptocurrencies that the only two ways to make money with them is trading or mining and there are a lot of a lot of more ways to do it um, in my case or my family case my brother he and, and I we live uh, with cryptocurrencies and we don't do mining or we don't do trading we sell our talents to platforms like you if we see how the cryptocurrencies numbers are driving, uh, are being dri driven in Latin America, we can see first, this is just starting in the world. There are maybe 35 million users of, of, the, of crypto wallets. That means of more than 7 billion, 900 million people is not cryptocurrency users. So if 35 million people is moving the world, is changing the world, is making what you know we are doing, what will happen when we hit 1 billion people, 2 billion people in the world? This is going to be amazing. And this is an opportunity we must take, we must appreciate, and we must give to others. Um, in the case of Latin America, less than 1% of the 
of the people is uh, crypto user. And we have to talk about um, we have to talk about you, the platforms, the products you have been targeting, maybe Asia and maybe Europe or the big markets, big normal markets. But regions like Africa and Latin America, where we have no option other than cryptocurrencies, we need you to see us, to take us in, to bring your projects and achieve big goals with our talent here. We need more Spanish sites, we need more Spanish uh, options, we need more in Spanish language white papers. Uh, one of the biggest obstacles in Latin America with projects is because of the um, because of the language. So many people is not English speaker in Latin America but they want and they need a cryptocurrency. So I ask you to target us, to see us as a big market and a huge source of talent for your uh, projects. I repeat, Bitcoin and Airborne, they know, and they, are, they know we are a big market. They know that they are, can be a big solution for us. They know how to get to the people who need it. But we need more help. We need your help. We need your projects, your ideas targeting us. We need Latin America to, to come here and use that. Use our talent, our resources, and our problems to make your success. Este, um, otra cosa que quería decirles en español es que me encuentro muy honrado de que me digas el, en qué puedes ayudar a little Spanish so I can I can I want to you I want you to tell us how you can help us how can you bring more people to us and bring more people in we are open for help you there are so many talented people here willing to work in, in blockchain projects but we can find the bridge to outreach that project. Please bring us. Please help us and make us to be part of your success. Well, what do I teach in our educational program with Bitcoin and Ergo? Usually these programs teach about blockchain and cryptocurrencies. I, I got an idea about these seminars in Venezuela because I use them to inspire people, to teach them our real value as people, as a country, uh, with our resources and all the, all the opportunities we have. In the first part I teach them uh, how to, to change our minds uh, about, uh, about life, about our country. So many people are losing faith and hope because they think we are getting in a dark zone and we are in a no opportunity zone that we have no chances but i am optimistic i am i have been always optimist, optimistic and i think we have so many opportunities now we can make business entrepreneurships we can make um, earnings with our talents, with our services, with our natural resources, with our uh, our country resources. We only need to learn and open our, our eyes to see them. In the second part I teach the basics about blockchain, how it works. About, I teach them about uh, cryptocurrencies. I teach them how the, the fiat money is making more money with our money and make the rich richer and the poor poorer and how the banks are economic groups with governments together they work for themselves for their pockets and sometimes they forget about people they forget the country and the people they they should be, they should be serving to 
And the last part I teach them about the exchange is how to get cryptocurrencies to fiat money, uh, fiat money in, in cryptocurrencies. And this is one of the fields I think we, we as a community in cryptocurrency should work because it's one of the big obstacles in, obstacles in, in Latin America. How to get fiat money with the cryptocurrencies and the solutions we can find here is maybe people make doing as exchanges but in, in uh, no formal way as person to person uh, even no scroll system or OTC system just people who knows people and I teach the people too about the wallets how to download a wallet can make a business more profitable how a business in 30 seconds can receive uh, any cryptocurrency and this will make that business more profitable and with more potential clients and finally I teach them how to use the natural talents we have to make cryptocurrencies as a way of living how to you can be a translator um, audio or video ed editor and make a living how a photographer how a writer a novelist a poet um, anyone anyone with a talent can be can be in this world making good income and this is how Bitcoin and Airware are helping people in Venezuela but this is just the beginning and in a few weeks we'll be covering more cities we'll be, uh, we'll be training people to do more seminars we will be hiring people in different, with different skills to do different things to make this program bigger that's why it's important to get some funds to do it that's why I thank again Thorstein and Rockstar's event to give us this opportunity to to get some funds and donations for this program. Um, anyway, the donation is not the only way you can help people. You can see and search talent for your projects, for your platforms, for your sites, for your legal team, for your marketing team, people from Latin America. Don't forget, we are 760 million people in Latin America. We need to learn, we need to speak the same language. So, I uh, bring the uh, Spanish and Latin American people to your teams and make your project and your platform bigger with this underseen market. Well, why we should take care of Latin America as a huge market for cryptocurrencies. Uh, let me tell you some stories about this. For example, I was telling Thorson about a mango story. Do you know mango, the fruit? My sister, she lives in Europe and she bought mango. I, maybe she paid three euros for a kilo. But the, one day she bought it and she sent me a picture in a WhatsApp message. And the, uh, at that time, I was in my brother's house, and he has a huge mango tree in his in his house. This tree gives us maybe four thousand mangoes a year, four thousand. And sometimes the mangoes fall in the on the on the floor, and they get wasted there because there are so many mangoes that we don't give them the value they should have or they have in another part of the world I think the cryptocurrencies are like our, our mangoes in the digital world we, we but in, in 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 opposite way you in your countries maybe cryptocurrency is something that maybe can work that maybe it will be a solution something is not sure about the future but here in Latin America we know its value we know the solutions that it can bring to us 
and we are sure that if you bring this to our countries, you will see how to use it to solve everybody's problems. Events like this, like crypto rock stars in Germany, events like this put together so many people, projects and talent together to work for the, the common benefits, for the people's benefits in the world. And it's an a honor to be among you, be here to talk to you. I know there are few Latin Americans working with cryptocurrencies at this level and I feel I'm blessed to have this space to, to talk to you from our point of view, from Venezuela, how your work is changing lives. Maybe, mm, as I said uh, before, the, this is just the beginning. Uh, maybe the real case user use uh, are not so many that you can really see but these real case use are touching lives like never before and I speak for myself and my family I speak for people who work with us I speak for people who is using cryptocurrencies to make their life better and life with the uh, author's life better I know that for some people in Latin America, this is like a like a fiction picture, like a fiction story, like something that will, will never happen. But I'm sure, like enough of changes in the world history, this is is here to stay. Cryptocurrencies are gonna change, are changing the world, but they are gonna change it in a way we have never seen before in the human history. And for the first time, Latin America and Venezuela can take the lead of it and take it not because of the economical resources we have, but the talent and the necessities, the needs we have about, uh, about our lives. We are going to fight for our life here and I mean it really, I mean it like I said, we are going to fight for our lives. In people in countries like Venezuela, maybe 100 bucks, 100 dollars or 50 euros can change a family's life. I have seen so many families broken because father, mother or both have to leave the country looking for opportunities, hard opportunities because they are going to live outside their, their country, they are going to live a life without family or with part of our family in Venezuela and when I see this case and I see my case where I can earn enough money to take care of my family and help my family with my family here without leaving the country I really feel that cryptocurrency changed my life forever and I think my goal as a person and um, our goal as a platform with Bitcoin and Airwork is to bring this opportunity so, to so many people who is looking for solutions and options for their lives. Uh, Airwork and Bitcoin are supporting this educational program and I, I'm not sure if they know how many lives we have touched. We have numbers. We know we have talked to, so far to more than 600 people, people, but we really don't know how their lives are going to be changed next week, next month, or next years, because the seed we put in their brain and heart is going to grow, and there is going to bring them an, a solution and options. Uh, some friends of mine are working with me. We, I'm, I'm trying to, to teach them how I get in this in this work. I am teach them that they have another option than living in the country to make their living with their families. Uh, we need the money to make this happen. I know the money will come. 
I know the as person told me uh, you can make some donations for the educational program. These resources will be used for tools and in the more important to to hire people, hire talented people in different areas to make this happen. And this money will bring them another option, another reason to stay here and work with us. I know people, young people, who has been thinking to leave the country for one, two or three years. They are fighting in, in, the, in, in, the, in their soul and heart because they know it's not easy to leave the country. They know that it's hard to be outside the country and and leave the family, leave the history. And I am sure they know we have so many opportunities to make make a living here in Venezuela that this fight is being harder and harder. In Venezuela we have so many resources. In Latin America we have so many resources uh, underused and undervalued by yourself that if we can change the vision we have and the learning we have about them, you know, this is going to change. For example, you know, in Venezuela we have so many places, beautiful places that can be used for tourism. Um, they are not, in other countries they make a living with the tourism and the money that tourists, tourists brings them and we don't see it yet. We have underseen uh, the crypto tourism area and I'm sure with this educational program with Bitcoin and everywhere we will find a way to make the tourism one of the big resources and me, uh, the, the way to bring money to many people here in Venezuela. And when, we, when I talk about Venezuela, is I talking about Latin America too. We need to understand that we have the talent, the resources, and we only need information and the work to make good work. And that's why I feel so blessed and honored to be here. And I, and I have this opportunity to, to talk to you about our point of view uh, in our daily life our current life and the opportunities that cryptocurrencies will bring. I hope that you can see more what I want you to see about Latin America. I want you to think now, from now on, that we can be a huge part of your projects and your ideas and your platforms. I want you to know there are so many people willing to work, willing to make better things for work and that we only need you to reach us, to bring us the opportunity and give us the, 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 the door to, to enter in this crypto world. This is just the beginning. I'm sure maybe in two, five and ten years this is going to be like a, when internet started in 1993 and we will see how many opportunities we took and how many opportunities we missed. We will see how many people we will change forever and I think you will be so proud of your ideas, your platforms and your teams working now, maybe an idea that will change millions life forever. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for this invitation. Thank you for let, let me get in your house and your life. And feel free to get in touch with me. We can make better things and work together. Bitcoin and Airware are open to bring this educational program for everybody. And if you want to sponsor it, you can reach me too, and we can talk and make it big, better and bigger. Uh, also, I want to uh, give uh, thanks Thorsten for his uh, offering about the donation program for uh, Bitcoin and Airware Ambassador Program. Uh, this donation will be used 
to hire people, get tools, and outreach more people. Teach them how this can change the world. And I hope you enjoy this event and learn a lot with these talented people here. Well, thank you very much. I must say I'll see you soon and keep working.